major focus of my work is identifying causes and finding solutions to tackling institutional racism and racial conflict. I'm a community worker and a social science lecturer at Goldsmiths University of London. I'm involved in the professional training of youth and community workers and I advise and work with senior people within organisations on how to tackle institutional racism and racial conflict. I also coordinate and manage on behalf of the lay Buddhist organisation SGI UK, the Three Faiths Community Project, funded by the Home Office as part of its community cohesion programme involving Muslims, SGI Buddhists and black Christians in South London. The project is looking to provide new understandings to community cohesion by examining the UK context of discrimination, persecution and racism which Muslims and young black people face. They spent a lot of time in the early weeks breaking everybody down to see that we're all just the same. One of the things that really struck us in terms of wanting to begin this project, we have to say was the, as Imam Ghani was saying, was based on what we perceived to be the attacks that were taking place um, throughout society on um, Muslim people. I found it really encouraging actually that people are very willing to listen and to find out more. So it's been a platform where we've been able to address misconceptions. My personal experience of racism propelled me into this work. I was separated at birth from my mother, an Indian Gujarati Hindu, and adopted three months later by a white family living in Shropshire. My family were supportive and caring, but I wanted to be white like everyone around me. At night I would cry myself to sleep. I experienced racist abuse and bullying from my peers and was subjected to packy bashing attacks. My consciousness of being black and different meant that I couldn't be myself. By my late teens this anguish had translated itself into a profound anger which I directed at authority and injustice. I attacked the beliefs of anyone who had a different view from me. I trained to become a community worker and channeled my anger into political issues and fighting injustice in the community. I believed that it was external factors like social structures that needed changing not people. This belief was challenged when a work colleague introduced me to Buddhism. This colleague impressed me because I could see that he was committed to tackling racism in an effective, sustained way, and he was white. My name is uh, David Woodger, and I live, I'm a Buddhist, and I live in Tooting. I read a book by Daisaku Ikeda, president of the SGI Lay Buddhist Society, called The New Human Revolution. He described the emotion and indignation he felt when he saw a young African-American boy being excluded from a game of football just because he was black. I was incredibly moved. It so echoed my own experience. Through my Buddhist practice, I came to realise that internal human revolution, human transformation, could help bring about not only personal change, but social change too. I now use my anger constructively in my work as a positive source of energy. I've been able to empower black and white people in a range of public sector services, including education, health, social services, the police and youth services. You're pioneers, because not only do you need to get to know each other and become friends, but you need to become advocates for our community. So there's not a Muslim community, and a Buddhist community, and a Christian community, there's one community. And so it helped me to change my whole mindset on how I see things and, and how I judge people and how I prejudge people. I've recently been awarded a government grant to undertake research into knife crime among young people. Our educational and social institutions are failing young black and Muslim people. Many feel and are excluded from our services. Before, I'd have really shied away from issues of discrimination, issues of racism, was if now I can really see, see clearly in my own life, see within my family, within my community, in society at large, how there's a lot of di discriminate, discriminatory dynamics at work. Well, actually, this is something which can be changed. My belief and vision is that we can establish a more humane society 
of genuine race equality. Work with our differences, transcend those differences, and as, as, as a community, um, you know, really say what we want to say and, you know, have a voice. So I really want to get the awareness up and just continue to 